What's going on YouTube? This is Ultimate iDevice Vids, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to jailbreak any iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad running iOS 8.1, 8.0.2, 8.0.1, .1, and iOS 8.0. And once again, this does work on any device that is capable of running any of those iOS versions, so just to be as clear as I can, I'll list all the devices. It's the iPhone 6, the iPhone 6 Plus, the iPhone 5S, the iPhone 5C, the iPhone 5, the iPhone 4S, the iPod Touch 5th generation, the iPad Air 2nd generation, the original iPad Air, the iPad 4th generation, the iPad 3rd generation, the iPad 2, the iPad Mini 3, the iPad Mini 2nd generation, and the original iPad Mini. And this jailbreak is untethered. And when I say that, what I mean is it's not tethered. And what a tethered jailbreak would be was every time your device turned off, the next time you turned it on, Cydia, anything that you installed from Cydia, the mail application, the Safari application, and the weather application would not work on your device. They just wouldn't open until you plugged your device back into your computer and re-ran a certain part of the jailbreak process. So you have to repeat a certain part of the process. That is not the case with this jailbreak. And once again, I just want to say it one more time, that is not the case with this jailbreak. This jailbreak is untethered, meaning you could turn your device off and on as many times as you want to, and Cydia, anything you install from Cydia, Mail, Safari, Weather, will work perfectly, and everything else on the device. So there's no side effects with this jailbreak. And also, I did make a video on how to jailbreak iOS 8.1, 8.0.2, 8.0.1, .1, and 8.0 earlier. However, the reason I'm making this second video is because the Pangu tool has been updated, the process is a lot easier, and some of the bugs that were found in the first jailbreak have been fixed in this new version of the jailbreak. This is the final version of the jailbreak, so nothing's wrong with it, and it does work perfectly, and of course I'm going to show you guys how to do it from beginning to end. It's also a lot easier, there was a step at the end of the other video that you needed to do in order to install City on your device that was a little bit complicated. That's no more, it's so much simpler now, and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. And I just wanted to let anyone know that did follow my previous video and is currently jailbroken, you do not have to repeat that process to fix any of the bugs that you're experiencing. All you have to do is open up Cydia on your device and make sure these three things are updated. You want to make sure Cydia Installer is updated, Cydia Substrate, and Pengu 8.0 through 8.1 on Tether. So make sure all those things are upgraded to the latest version that Cydia has. So just open Cydia on your device, select the refresh button. It should automatically refresh, but just make sure that it says reloading data. And then again, upgrade those three packages to the latest version that is available. And then all those bugs will be fixed. You'll have the latest version of the jailbreak. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do it from the beginning to end if you're not jailbroken at all. So let's begin. There are some things you want to know before you do the jailbreak process. And the first thing is that you want to make sure that your device is running any of the compatible versions. So you can check in settings general about and look at the version just make sure again it says ios 8.1 8.0.2 8.0.1 .1, 8 or 8.0 they all work and the next thing you want to make sure of is that your passcode on your device is disabled so scroll down in the main page of settings to passcode make sure that it is disabled down here that goes the same thing for touch id on some devices just make sure your passcode or passcode and touch id is disabled and the next thing you want to make sure of is that find my iphone ipod touch or ipad is disabled so i want to go into icloud and if you have that enabled, just make sure you go and disable that option. And the next thing you want to make sure of is that airplane mode is enabled on your device. It's not required, but the Pengu team does recommend it. And now with that out of the way, we're ready to start the jailbreak process. So make sure your device is connected to your computer through the USB cable. And you will need two things on your computer. The first thing that you're going to need is iTunes. You will need to have iTunes installed on your computer. We're not actually going to be using it for the jailbreak. However, it will need to be installed on your computer in order for the jailbreak to function. And of course, the jailbreak program that we're going to be using is called Pengu 8. And of course, I will provide download links for both of these things in the description down below. So let's go ahead and take a look at those links. The first link will take you here. And this is for you to install iTunes if you don't already have it installed on your computer. If you already have it, you do not need to do this. But again, if you don't, make sure you select Download Now. And the second link will take you here. And this is Pengu's website. And unfortunately, this jailbreak is only available for Windows as of right now. As soon as there is a Mac version available, I'll be sure to make a new video for you guys showing you how to do the process. However, as of right now, again, it's only available on Windows. So go ahead and select the download button right here. And after you have both of those things on your computer, what you want to do is right-click on Pengu 8 and select Run as Administrator. And then you're going to select Yes. And it may take a few seconds for it to detect your device. Again, just keep it connected to your computer through the USB cable. And as you can see here, it is now detecting my device. And it just detected it as an iPod Touch 5th Gen with iOS 
And at this point, all you want to do is click Start Jailbreak. And then you're going to select Already Did. It's just giving you some warnings right here. And the process will begin. Now, as soon as the process begins, do not disconnect your device. Just keep it connected. And as you can see here, we're getting a loading bar on our computer. And if at any point in this process, the loading bar seems to be hanging and it doesn't seem to be moving, again, do not do anything. Just be patient. The process could take a little bit of time. Again, never disconnect your device. Never close the program. Just be patient. And if you get this pop-up on your device saying storage almost full, just select done. That's not true. It's just a glitch with the jailbreak. And eventually on your computer, it's going to say jailbreak succeeded. And on your device, you're going to get this loading wheel. And eventually your device will go completely blank. That's completely normal. Here's the Apple logo. And eventually the Apple logo will disappear just like that. And you'll get the loading wheel again. And it will eventually stop. And here's the Apple logo again. And it just went away. And once your device is on the lock screen, go ahead and slide to unlock. And you will notice on your device that airplane mode has automatically been disabled. And in Pengu, as you can see, it's telling us that our device is already jailbroken. So we could go ahead and select X on Pengu and slide over to wherever you have available space on your home screen. And you will see Cydia on your device. Go ahead and open it up. And when you open up Cydia for the first time, it will say preparing file system just like this. And during this process, do not do anything to your device. Don't disconnect it. Don't touch anything. Don't tap anything. This process can take up to about eight minutes. So just be patient again. Wait for the process to finish. And you know the process is finished because your device's screen will go black. And as you can see here, our device's screen just went black. We have the Apple logo. And here we are back at our lock screen. Let's just go ahead and slide to unlock. And you want to open up Cydia again. And this time it will load up. And at this point, we're now complete. So that's how you jailbreak iOS 8.1, 8.0.2, 8.0.1, and 8.0 on any iDevice that supports any of those iOS versions. The jailbreak process is a lot simpler than it used to be. And at this point, the jailbreak process is complete, so you can disconnect your device from your computer. And something else I want to mention is you will see the Pengu app on your device. It's nothing you need to worry about. If you don't open it up, it's just going to give you some information about the Pengu team. And in the utility section, that's just some advanced stuff. Just leave that as it is. And that's all for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.